begin this half hour with the Detroit Archdiocese relaxing pandemic protocols. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. Now it does affect Catholic churches all across the state. Fully vaccinated parishioners are no longer required to wear a mask or social distance in church. Those who are not vaccinated should continue to follow safety measures. But parish parishioners do not have to verify who is and who is not vaccinated. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette has a closer look at the impact of the changes at church. New COVID-19 protocols from the Archdiocese of Detroit mean big changes for in-person worship, changes that will impact more than a million people right here in Metro Detroit. We want to include all of our families and, and all of our communities back into our faith. They are updated guidelines for 1.1 million Catholics attending 215 parishes across Metro Detroit. Monsignor Chuck Kosanke tells us among the newer rules, people who are fully vaccinated are no longer required to wear a face covering and social distance in church. If you follow the CDC guidelines, if you do what's necessary to be safe, it works without making it political on one end or, or the other. Also, those not fully vaccinated are urged to keep masking up and distancing. The Archdiocese of Detroit adds each parish will provide a portion of the church with space where distancing and masks are consistently maintained. As churches continue to safely integrate themselves back into a new normal, I think we'll see more and more people coming back. Longtime parishioner Aaron Shanky tells us it's about maintaining a comfort level for everyone. To be able to have those spaces where those depending on where their comfort level is, that they're able to still worship and still be a part of our faith and our community. I think that's really important. In addition, the church says the sign of peace may resume with normal wording and parishes will continue to display signage with updated rules. Doors will remain open for ventilation and sanitization stations will be maintained. Parishes are encouraged to maintain COVID arrangement of vessels for bread and wine on the altar as well. We really believe that prayer and worship is an essential service. We believe that all along, but the fact that now we can start feeling uh, more comfortable and start opening up even more and more for our, our parishioners um, is, is just, just fantastic. Members of clergy will continue to wear masks while distributing Holy Communion. Schools will also continue mask wearing and social distancing guidelines through the end of the year. New protocols will follow for the next school year. Lastly, church members are encouraged to speak with their doctors to address any additional concerns. The Archdiocese of Detroit wants to stress the importance of erring on the side of caution at all times. To read a complete list of all the changes being implemented, just go to WXYZ.com. From Corktown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you.